Hey, you guys are doing Aries singles. Take a resonates. Leave all the rest. If you're dealing with another Aries, if you're dealing with another Aries, I'm seeing that they're feeling a lot of love. Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He may not be showing it though. He's feeling so much love. Okay, I'm here for Poseidon. Um, could even be a star seed or something. All right, look into that. Uh, moving forward, they want to move forward. With their cup they may have to travel move like if they moved it would have to be states it would have to be overseas four of cups there's a missed opportunity here and the fool taking the leap of faith either missed opportunity or there was a lot of unrequited love in another situation cancer moon energy could have been libra in a relationship a friendship a partnership an alliance something already here um Someone's going to be moving forward, like overseas opportunities. Someone's really moving. Like they don't have to be moving Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Um, could even be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Libra. Somebody who's feeling a lot of love, not really showing it, would, would want to move. And with the Four of Cups, they would be most likely moving themselves to something that they thought was a missed opportunity or towards somebody who they feel um, believes that there's unrequited love, although this person does feel a lot of love. So, yeah, and taking a leap of faith, okay? Full energy, like, taking a leap of faith anyways. There's also been a cycle completed of unrequited love, so if they were dealing with people around them or with somebody just in general where there was unrequited love, that's ended with the world here. It's over. It's like you're heading towards someone who will reciprocate that same love, okay? Something like that. Um, or the person that was, if you were interested in somebody, the other person felt like it was unrequited love, like something like that. So someone would be moving forward to give their cup to the other person and to tell them like, um, if it was a missed opportunity, like, oh, that I want opportunity. Okay. To give love to you. They'll be taking a leap of faith. Nine of Pentacles to someone who's very single, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with cancer, okay? This person's already financially stable, so someone's got themselves out of that mentality of missed opportunities or unrequited love. They just got themselves out of that whole little conundrum, I guess you could say. If you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Taurus, Holy Spirit, if you're dealing with a Taurus, 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 They've experienced a lot of financial loss in something. Okay, Taurus, Mercury, or they've been left out in the cold. Taurus, Mercury, energy will be Aquarius. This could be with brotherhood, community. This could even be with colleagues, schoolmates, siblings, friends. This could even be with work, health, and nutrition. There's something here where someone lost a lot of money. They want a new passionate beginning, something exciting. We're giving and receiving. Um, possibly a date, Six of Pentacles. Uh, and the Chariot, someone's moving forward. So someone's even um, sexually attracted to somebody. We have a Cancer here, and this would be Libra energy. This would be Taurus moon energy. So somebody wants to give and receive an actual relationship, okay? Someone wants a new passion at the beginning. <laughs> someone experienced a lot of financial loss, or they, they were left on the cold of something. But with the Ace of Wands, they're having a new passion at the beginning. There's something new starting, something new exciting. So rather you're a man or a woman, if you've experienced this, there's something new exciting for you. Okay? Where they will be giving and receiving. And you could be receiving some form of support. Or you see someone that's very trustworthy. They could be a Cancer or a Libra. Okay? Okay. Someone's also having the proper structure and discipline to move forward. Um, to giving and receiving reciprocity, there could be money coming in. Okay, this could even be a date, but this could be money's coming in for them in their job and their work, okay? But someone could have experienced a lot, a lot, a lot of financial loss, okay? Um, let's go into if you're dealing with uh, Gemini, we talk to a Gemini, if you're dealing with a Gemini, another Gemini. If you're an Aries and you're dealing with a Gemini. If you're an Aries and you're dealing with a Gemini, that wants to come out. I feel like someone's impulsive, or you were a player, or something like that you may have felt like there's a lot of passion oh child 
There's something here, uh, Knight of Wands, someone was impulsive. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been Capricorn. Could be Ophacious energy as well. But experiencing a lot of financial loss. So somebody was really reckless with how they spent money. Okay. Um, we also have the High Priestess here. So if someone was also very impulsive, someone was left out in the cold because they were either a player or very impulsive. Or there was something really passionate going on, but it was based off of sex. Like, it was completely based off of sex. It was left out in the cold, or because someone was impulsive with their spending, they lost a lot of money. With the High Priestess here, somebody is Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Libra. You could also be, um, a, yeah, you could be all those. Justice, there was some form of karma that happened here. Or this could have been legally. This could have been legally, this could have been a contract, alliances, um, partnerships, friendships. Something here, um, the high priestess is also secrets. It can also be the um, the feminine energy within all of us, our women's intuition. Somebody also knows already that somebody um, had to be left out in the cold who was very impulsive or was somebody who, how can I explain that, was a player possibly, or it was just based off of passion. Someone could have also just been really reckless with how they spent money regarding uh, college, schoolmates, siblings, and friends. And it, it backfired because something had to be left out in the cold. For some of you, you were leaving out a friend. You have to leave out a friend or something. Could be like a negative influence or something. Or you have to leave out that mentality of being that knight of wands all about passion, passion, passion. Because karma happened with the justice. Could have been a court system as well. Okay? Or you were really impulsive. Yeah, the will move forward, right? Some of you guys will actually be traveling, moving, or new cycles beginning because now one's closed, okay? So we're going to go on to cancers. If you're dealing with a cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, there's been healing. So if there was backstabbing, betrayal, all that stuff, it's healed. If you're dealing with a cancer, if you look... It's like they're touching each other this way. I don't know if you can really see that, but they're touching each other. It's really cute. Um, there's healing. There's healing. You could actually be dealing with a Taurus or Libra or Pisces. Five of Wands, there was a lot of negative thoughts or interferences, like people interfering or something. You had to go within about this Gemini, Aries, Virgo energy. Could also be dealing with Capricorn. Be watching this person. <sighs> okay, so either you feel left out in the cold or there's been a lot of financial loss with this five of pentacles here. You were either ghosted or you were left out in the cold. Um, this could have been a home. You could have lost a home. Okay, you could have experienced a foundation crumbling. Something crumbled for you. Of course, my view, this could have been with college, schoolmates, siblings, friends, work, health, nutrition. This also could have been with your finances and family. Something went wrong with the hermit here. Um, you're not talking to many people. You could have a lot of negative thoughts, but there's already been healing on something. But for some of you, so what someone's not saying and why they've isolated themselves is because they lost a lot of money. And the tower is showing that something shocking happened where a foundation crumbled and the will of fortune um, it was karma, it was destiny, it was fate. So even though this crumbled for you, there is now more coming into you because a cycle has closed itself out for a new one to begin. Okay, so don't even worry. All right, don't worry. Even if something crumbled with the five of pentacles here, either left out on the cold or ghosted or you lost a lot of money. The tower is here where foundation crumbled. It was meant to. It was meant to, okay? It was meant to. It's okay. Um, because now there's been a healing in something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's been healing. Okay. Interesting energy for cancers. Um, this could even be with your parents or in the home. Something happened with losing a home or family. There was, there was, ooh, I'm hearing uh, family drama as well. There could have been family drama. Doesn't have to be, but there could have been family drama for you. All right. We're going to go into Leo to deal with Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, what is that like that? If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, um, Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. This person feels a lot of love. 
Um, nine of Cups. The person is not happy, but the dreams didn't come true. If you're dealing with a Leo, the dreams did not come true in reverse. There was a lot of interferences, negative thoughts. Um, and then we have the King of Cups here. Okay. Clarify. Um, oh, okay. So if you're dealing with a Leo, um, this person is feeling a lot of love and is trying to be honest with themselves about it. We have Libra Scorpio, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person doesn't feel like their dreams have come true. They're not happy. Okay. And with the five of wands here, there's been a lot of negative thoughts, influences, people who got in the way of them being with their counterpart. King of Cups, Libra Scorpio, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Clarify the nine of cups. Judgment. So it could have been like a judge. It could have been um, them wanting some form of a, them giving a second chance to something because they're not happy. There's some form of second chance here. Anything else? If you're dealing with a Leo. Oh, I see the star. This person's healed 11-11. They healed, okay? They're also vocalizing how they really feel. Pisces, there's no intimacy going on here. Or it's been very stuck and stagnant. With judgment here, someone's just trying to make the proper judgment call now that the dreams have not come true. Because it's Leo. Anything else? Yeah, they've been in victim mentality. And there's a lot of immature communication. Page of Pentacles. Um, they're having a new solid start and beginning. Uh, something they've manifested. This could even be messages. So there's something here where... Page of Swords. Page of Swords. There was victim mentality. Poor immature communication about a second chance or a judgment call. And with the Page of Pentacles having a new solid beginning Capricorn energy. So I feel like um, there's going to be a message coming in about finances. There's going to be a message coming in about a new solid start beginning or a new job that they've gotten. There's going to be a message coming in either way. Either either person. But it's a new solid start and beginning 12-12 because it was too damn stagnant. You guys had to acknowledge that. There's something that... Um, you're no longer going to be stagnant if you were dealing with a Leo. There's going to be like a new job, new car, new home, new something coming in. But it's even a message. Something someone's manifested, it's a financial opportunity. But they are starting a new beginning. Okay, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Aries, if you're dealing with a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo. They want to take a leap of faith with you. Or they feel like a fool. Take it as a resonance. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. We just have a card for it. Oh, hold on. Six of Wands. They're not moving victoriously. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this could be on work, health, nutrition. This person's not moving victoriously. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they feel backstabbed, betrayed, badly hurt. They have their heart chakra blocked off, Libra moon, Cancer. They could be staying at home a lot or just blocked off love right now for whatever reason and the sun you being illuminated about this with the leo energy okay so brightness happiness joy someone um see now it wants to flip it now it wants to flip up it was definitely just like this where someone was not moving forward there's something here though where if you didn't move forward victoriously take a leap of faith to something new and get to um you know, jump, have like a new, fresh, solid, happy beginning. Someone felt very backstabbed, betrayed, hurt by it, possibly even in work, Leo, Jupiter, Capricorn. About um, their happiness, their abundance, I see the Queen of Pentacles underneath here as well. Virgo, there's something here where somebody else is happy and they're financially secure. So I'll take that as a resonate. Someone's heart stuff is blocked off to relationships. You gotta open that up in order for them to be able to even have a relationship, okay? But someone else is very happy. They can be a Leo, a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's financially stable. Upside down, someone else is not with the Knight of Pentacles. They're either not stable, they're not moving on anything. Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. And they somewhat feel as, um, this could even be Libra energy. They just feel like, um, they have to stop looking at the past with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They got to stop looking at the past. They've also uh, been juggling, weighing their options. It's time to stop looking at the past and to move forward in your life so you can be happy, okay? Also, somebody doesn't feel like they're as financially abundant as that Queen of Pentacles 
um, who's usually like divine feminine energy or it's someone who's a single parent, okay? It's something like that. So I'll take it as it resonates. Ooh, sheesh. Yeah. Um, if there was a relationship, it was based off of the wrong things and they weren't, they're no longer going to be putting the hard work into it. Uh, this is not making a decision in love. Gemini energy. Uh, could have been because college, schoolmates, siblings, friends, and with this here, not putting the hard work into it anymore. Okay? Not working hard towards it anymore. Let's move into, if you're dealing with a Libra. Actually, I'll change that. Hold on. Okay, if you're dealing with a Libra, if you're dealing with a Libra, which is currently sitting in Cancer Energy, I just saw the Four of Wands. This, this, this could be something about a relationship coming to you guys, Libra. Moving to calmer waters. This, wow, you're such good cards, Libra. I'm so proud of you. Anything else for Libra? You guys just come into a new job, new opportunity at something. Someone's also moving to calmer waters, okay? Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Taurus coming towards you. Um, they're going to be moving to calmer waters because you make them really happy with the sun card. I also see oof, Libra watching you. And there's the sun, there's the eagle. Eagle actually represents Zeus, who is one of the most unlike gods, which is so dumb dumb. Okay, I actually uh, read the uh, Magic Treehouse when I was younger. Look at this. Oh, they're dealing with a young Aquarius. They're watching you online as well. Um, I read the Magic Treehouse. Ooh, a king of swords. He's gotten clarity. I, I read the Magic Treehouse, and... It was like talking about all the gods and goddesses. I absolutely love that with the Olympian theme, basically. But Zeus is one of the most unlike. He represents eagles. He represents thunder and mystery, essentially. He represents a lot of power. But there's something here where you're moving to calmer waters. The person you're watching is this page of swords. They're just younger than you, most likely. This person's moving with a lot of speed. They've been investigating. They've been researching, doing what they have to do. To go towards their happiness and joy. That's what they've really been putting their time into. Or this person makes you really, really happy. Okay? With the sun here, there could be children involved here. Or it's just joy. It's love. It's freedom. Do you see this person as that? Ace of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity. They could have came into a new job, new opportunity. You're watching them from afar. Temperance energy. They've been really patient with their own healing process and their own discipline. Their vocation at this time as well. I'm also seeing that this person is very um, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius energy. They are seen from afar. You can get a distance from this person. You're getting clarity on how you wish to communicate with them. Capricorn, Aquarius, the Gemini. And you have a lot of passion for them, Knight of Wands. You don't want to be impulsive. So I'm feeling like uh, it could have been one night stands before and flightiness. You want to come in with clarity, though, logically. You don't want to really think with the little heads. You're trying to think with the big head, and I think they're going to be moving in the proper direction because of it. Okay, you're watching their communication as well, but they're younger than you. Something about them being younger than you, okay? So, let's get into it if you're dealing with... Scorpio. You don't know what a Scorpio if you're dealing with a Scorpio, singles, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you feel like Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio. You feel like um, you want to manifest something. You have all the resources necessary to manifest something. Knight of Pentacles, a stable offer. This could also be Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. You feel like you have a lot of options. And Scorpio, Taurus, but you feel like there's no clarity. You feel like there's a lot of confusion and you're in victim mentality about it, okay? Anything about that Seven of Cups. You also feel like, you. I don't think you've been manipulative, but Three of Pentacles. You feel like you may want to manifest like being a team player with this person or collaborating with them for whatever, you know, thing you want to do. This could be work. This could be career, okay? Well, you know, I'm not taking all that. I'm not taking all that spirit. Anything else if you're dealing with a Scorpio regarding that confusion? You feel stagnant because there's a lot of options, a lot of confusion, and a lack of intimacy going on. Anything else? You feel like you've been putting the hard work. Look at that Knight of Pentacles for me. Look at the Knight of Pentacles for me, Holy Spirit. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? I feel like you've also moved really slow. You're sort of not sure if it's ended or not, if a cycle has completed. Something like that. 
you're not offering any monogamy. You you see this as something that's non-traditional. It's something that's not going to a higher level. You're dating. You're feeling a lot of love. You're looking at this person from afar. And it's strength. You feel pissed off about something. Ooh, financial loss. Left out in the cold, ghosted. So this person could, ooh, child. Did this person take your money? Now, I'm not saying they took your money, Taurus Mercury. I'm just saying this could have been a colleague, schoolmate, sibling, friend. This could have been work, health, nutrition. You could either feel ghosted by them or you feel literally like you lost a lot of money. Aquarius energy, this could have been with brotherhood as well. You lost a lot of money in something. Something's non-traditional. It's not going toward another level. This could have been um, family. Uh, the world needs to complete Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. The strength, you feel like um, it's going to, you don't, maybe you don't feel supported at this time. I don't know. There's temperance and patience going on though. You're looking at a Sagittarius. You're looking at someone else from afar. You could be looking at this Scorpio. It, 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 just take it as it resonates. But something here, you're looking at another energy. You wish to give love to another energy. And with the strength here, Taurus, Libra, could be Leo or Capricorn. There's something here where you're mad about something. You're mad about something. I don't know what the hell you could be mad about, but you're mad about something. Really mad. Okay. Okay. You could have lost something as well. So that could be anything that you've lost. Um, if you're dealing with the old thesis tarot reader or you're talking this is a messenger or this is like verbal cancer press scorpio woman you believe you cannot have a high priestess this woman is um drop dead gorgeous as well you wish to take them on a date or you focus a lot of giving and receiving you're looking at their communication they could be younger than you as well if you're dealing with an officious you feel like there's a lack of intimacy stagnancy Oh, so, okay, so this person used to have immature communication. They're now the queen of swords. So they got boundaries up. It's going to take a lot more than just a damn message. But this woman, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, she is a force to be reckoned with. She's in the upright. So you see her as a star, Aquarius. I mean, you're watching her online. You want to manifest. I hope you're not been doing any magic on this woman, but because I see this magician, okay? Gemini, Aries, Virgo. Four of Swords, you've been healing, resting, meditating, contemplating, or you've just been lazy. Four of Swords for me is like, you could get up, but you're not getting up. You've either been healing yourself or you've been hella lazy. Get up. Go after what you want. Just saying like I have to say it, okay? This woman has matured. There's been a lack of intimacy, stagnancy around you or your friendships, your partnerships, your relationships, your alliances, your money, and your family. You're separating yourself. You want to give and receive. Taurus Moon. You want to take this person out on a date. You want to do something. You want to go out. You want to give and receive with them. Um, as above, so below, as it is, so a B is the six of pentacles. As well as you could have been waiting for money to come in legally or something of that nature. Just take it as it resonates regarding your home, your money, or your family, or your mother. Now, I just saw 2332. There's something here mirroring. There is something mirrored back to you. And so now you're being able to see some form of truth, okay? But with her here, um, this is a woman that uh, she cuts off things that doesn't serve her. She has been squatting before. You're looking at someone from afar. There's lots of prophecy. And with the magician here, you're going to manifest something new. You could have been really lazy. Get up and manifest. Manifest, you better manifest something. She's doing her own thing, all right? That's how you're seeing this person. You're seeing this person as someone who cuts off things that don't serve her. She's very intuitive, possibly, as well. Or she's someone who's following her women's intuition. She's a woman you believe you cannot have. She's a woman that's already been hurt before. And the whole truth is, you see a stable foundation, legacy, something that'll last for generations with this person. Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's nothing getting in your way but you. You want to communicate to her. You see that she has very stable stuff going on cancer energy this woman really could be a cancer that's why she's probably the same energy she could also be somebody who is an aquarius or she is a um virgo taurus libra a capricorn 
take it as it resonates, all right? Now, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I didn't see that Knight of Wands with my, uh, the Cancer, you're going to be traveling. There's something where you're going to be traveling. The Chariot is out here, Cancer, Libra energy. You'll have to move homes or move for a relationship. You're going to have to communicate. You've been a hot-headed. You've been extremely flighty. Something emotionally maybe is going on with you where you feel like you need to move forward in your life. That could be anything, okay? Page of Cups, you've been dealing with someone who could be younger than you. Um, Page of Cups. You can feel, yeah, there's a cycle that has completed if there was emotional immaturity, if there was mental immaturity, like you guys didn't know how to communicate to one another, and it was about one night stands and just lust, that has completed. Seven of Pentacles, because someone realizes it's a poor investment to go into that. So this would be Sagittarius energy. This could be a tower for some of y'all. That someone's no longer dealing with one night stands, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Someone is emotionally mature. Okay, or like someone does know how to apologize, but someone else is a hothead and doesn't know how to communicate. Someone realized that's a core investment. Let me be realistic about it. I just saw the four of wands pop out here. They want a real relationship, a commitment, something that'll last an actual long time. Aries, Taurus, Libra, and if you can't give her that, she's gonna go find it for herself. Now, this could also be um, Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy. Or Aquarius. Anything else? Cancer, Libra, all that stuff. There's the negative thoughts and interferences getting in the way of you going forward. It could even be the people around you. Please be aware of that. It could be the people around you getting in the way. Of someone coming near you or towards you. Or is there something getting in the way here? That secret's coming out. That could even be family. You're going to be traveling or communicating to someone who's afar. They could be a star seen in the limelight or they're very healing or they have healed. And it's a wish, it's a dream, and it's something you're realizing that you don't have to stop yourself from going towards. Also, you could have made a fast-paced change movement in your own life, spiritually, or you will be communicating with this person through technology. Okay, Sag, if you're dealing with a... Ooh, child. Yeah, because some of you... Yeah, oh, child. Some of you guys are really stagnant because you are facing worry, fear, depression, anxiety, and nightmares. Gossip, bickering, backstabbing, lying and deceit. It kept you really stagnant. There's been a lack of intimacy, sexual, like deprived as well. Um, this could have been family. Could have been family. Ten of Cups, you want your ultimate wish fulfillment. You've been in victim mentality about it. The people around you, college, schoolmates, siblings, friends, could have contributed to that mentality. You need to watch who you're around so that you can have a better mentality about, you know, your future. Okay? Now, ooh, child. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords coming out. Yeah. So, this is the woman that cuts out the things that doesn't serve her. Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Super Gemini, or a very single woman is who you're looking at. You also may feel like this person has cut out a lot of different things in their life. And you're, you know, wanting to come correct. All right? So, she could also have been divorced. I'm seeing Libra at the bottom of the deck. That could have been some form of karma. Or she's Goddess Isis energy. Which uh, she resurrected this year after seven days. She has that type of power, all right? So let's go into Seven of Cups. You could have been facing some form of confusion or a lot of options or choices. Let's go into if you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, some of you guys are holding on to a heartbreak or very guarded because of a heartbreak. You've been really hot headed, flighty, in and out because of it. You've been very defensive to the people around you as well. I think people have noticed that because you didn't release any emotional baggage. Anything else? Dealing with a Capricorn? You could be dealing with a younger Aquarius. Yeah, you haven't taken a leap of faith to a higher sense of commitment. Anything else to tell me? You, oh, okay. So someone has put in a lot of hard work to work on their communication skills or you want to put in the hard work with a Aquarius or a Libra, a Gemini, a Cancer, a someone who is somebody who communicates. Um, she has clarity, the way she has clarity, but you didn't take a leap of faith. Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, or you won't be, or with the Hierophant here, 
it's something's not going to another level. You haven't released any emotional baggage. And a cycle has completed itself, the will of fortune. And you'll be going towards a healthier relationship. So say you were dealing with um, a colleague, a schoolmate, a sibling, a friend, or something of that nature. If you were dealing with something like that. Um, this person had to go because that's why you weren't taking the leap of faith. That's why you weren't going towards a higher level of commitment. You realize you need to put in the hard work to close that cycle with that person. And you'll be going to a much healthier relationship. Cancer, Taurus, Libra um, could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Now, if she had a mature communication, that's why they didn't move forward. It needed to be fixed. Something needed to be fixed. Your hot head is and flightiness in and out. She ain't taking no message and da, da, da. no. It has to be a lot more than that now. She has standards. There's standards that have been put, boundaries that have been put for the right reasons so that you don't get hurt and she doesn't get hurt. Approach it correctly. It would be that she wants this. She could even be a Leo. Okay? She could also be um, a Pisces. But she's not taking any of the BS. And it's not just about her being able to, you know, have a lot of healing energy and stuff like that. You got to be able to have the same damn thing for her. She wants something with reciprocity. And uh, she's moving forward towards that, whether or not somebody approaches her or not. She'll be moving forward towards that in her own life, towards possibly even a new person. Okay? So... Take that as it resonates, Capricorn. If you want to stay in that energy, go ahead. But this person's moving forward. You see them moving forward towards a new relationship if you don't move forward. And that's okay. Sometimes it's just not meant to be that way. You don't feel like you can step up and be you in order to, um, you know, come into the relationship as yourself and really embrace that energy. Let's move this. Because this shit is like, what is going on? Okay. Now, let's go. Capricorn, Capricorn, I was a mess. <laughs> Please tell me you guys, you know, approach it a little better than that, though. Like, release the baggage you need to release. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we're going into Aquarius' energy. Some of you guys, uh, strength. Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. Some of you guys are pissed off about something. You feel like you've been lied to. Ooh, wee. You've been lied to and either left out in the cold or you've had cloud of judgment been left out in the cold. You can feel like you're being laughed at by your college, schoolmates, siblings, friends. You could be feeling like, um, let's see, work, health, nutrition, finances, family. You could also feel like you lied. It, it back, like, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, that would be like a lie. Five of Pentacles, you lost a lot of money. You lost a lot of money in something. You wanted to travel and message about this. Nine of Pentacles. And you wanting to be financially stable, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. You could also be a Cancer. You wanting to be a team player, solid foundation. This could even be a pregnancy. Please be cautious. Um, this could be in your career or work. You want to collaborate and come together with somebody who you can see as relationship material. For some of you, you feel like you were lied to by your mother. Others of you, you feel like you were lied to in the past by your partner. Um, something here, uh, if someone was already in a relationship, you feel really pissed off. Ace of Swords in reverse. You sort of feel like um, you've lost a lot of money. You've lost a lot of money on something. Something really went wrong here. Eight of Wands, you wanting to travel, move, or communicate with somebody. With the Nine of Pentacles, you wanting to be financially stable. Okay, you wanting to be put together. You wanting to come together with somebody. For some of you, you were lied to about some form of a pregnancy. The Three of Pentacles is here. Or a stable foundation that something was stable. You were lied to. Okay. Or you didn't tell the truth about something. Or there's just a lot of... It's financial loss. It's ghost stuff. It's being left out in the hole. And it's also um, a lie. Okay. So be aware of that, I guess, if you're dealing with a mother or someone who's already in a relationship, Aquarius. Let's go into Pisces energy. You feel like um, Libra Moon. You had your heart chakra blocked off or a stalemate. You couldn't change your perspective. And victim mentality was in reverse. So you're no longer going to be in victim mentality about the choices you need to make. You're stuck in the fork in the road about the decisions you need to make. 
You feel like you've been flighty in and out, non-committal in this energy, uh, hot tempered. Oh my God, it's mighty. Huh. And you also feel the sun is in reverse. This could be Capricorn energy. Not moving forward victoriously, not happy. You're not happy. You're not moving forward victoriously, Leo Jupiter. Something's not moving forward victoriously. And the Knight of Wands came out in reverse. Not taking action. There's no passion. Not sexually attractive. Um, someone's like not even moving forward. Aquarius. There's been some form of like either immature communication or... Yeah, you're watching somebody online. Nine of Pentacles. Anything else that you can clarify for the Queen of Pentacles? Whew. Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You feel like this person's codependent. Six of Swords, you need to release emotional baggage or they are or something like that. You're moving to calmer waters. Somebody's moving to calmer waters. For some of you, you're watching someone online. You see that they've healed, but you sort of feel like there's immature communication. Okay. Um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Bull, Capricorn. Either somebody's already in some form of relationship or you're dealing with somebody like that, or this is a mother, or you feel like someone is, they said it's confirmation. My dogs don't like the male name. <laughs> um, you feel like someone's codependent. You feel like someone's possibly emotionally manipulative, um, emotionally unavailable. When she's in reverse, Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing, this could be the same energy. You could feel like somebody, yeah, they have a lot of money and stuff, but they're not, um, even though they're financially stable, nurturing and all that stuff, you feel like someone's emotionally unavailable. You feel like someone could be emotionally manipulative or you feel like um, they're codependent, okay? So Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, cause we don't Libra. That's why a relationship has not formed here. Um, anything else? Scorpio, Capricorn energy. This would be the, like the same energy. You feel like they're not emotionally available. Or you feel like they're codependent and that's not something you really want in a relationship. Okay? Um, and you're not happy. You're not moving victoriously. You feel like the other person isn't because these were both in reverse. So even if there was communication, Aquarius energy like online or something, or you're watching this person and you feel like they healed or... Something like that, you healed from this person. Take it as it resonates. Um, or you're watching them online or from afar or something. You're not feeling sexually attracted with the Knight of Wands in reverse. There's no passion. You also feel like you've been flighty in and out. You're not happy. You're not moving victoriously. Or you feel like the other person isn't moving victoriously with there being an eagle in both pictures. Or you feel like this person's younger or younger-minded in their communication. So take it as it resonates. This is a really crazy reading. Aries. Hopefully these resonate for you. I love you guys. And I'll be seeing y'all later. Either way, Six of Swords, you'll be moving to calmer water. So you'll either be moving away from this person or you feel like you've released the emotional baggage connected around that type of energy. Okay? So, love you guys. And later!